into our next demo. It's called Sidewinder. It's really cool. I, hopefully, you can help us explain this to us. We have Stephen Deverdi to talk about Sidewinder. Welcome, Stephen. Thanks, Paul. So, virtual reality video is bigger than ever today. Um, people are uploading videos to YouTube, to Facebook. They're showing films at uh, festivals like Sundance and Cannes. Your kids are making videos in VR, and you don't even understand what they're doing. Uh, and the big question for us at Adobe is what's next? What's going to be the way that we engage with and interact with and create the virtual reality video of the future? And Project Sidewinder is here to answer that question. So let's hop into the headset and take a look at some footage. That's where I say goodbye. And here I am in San Francisco with a pretty standard VR video. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm on the Embarcadero. Uh, I'm on the pier here. We can see some grass. We've got some rocks, some waves. Um, and this is a pretty standard, pretty standard video. So uh, you know, I can look around. Um, pretty cool. And this was captured with a, um, a GoPro Odyssey camera and a Google Jump uh, to stitch the video. And you know, now when I when I look around this this um, this footage, you know, I want to maybe maybe I want to see this um, wall from the side here. And so I'm going to try and come around to the side and take a look at it. But I, I can't really get a different view. Or maybe I'm going to like try and kneel down a little bit. But I I can't see a different view of the object in front of me. And why is that? Well. VR video is a fundamental limitation of virtual reality video. The, the camera sits in a single location, and it records the scene all around, which is why I can look you know, left and then right. Um, but if I want to move my head a little bit to a different position, like to the side, uh, the camera is still fixed in the same location. And it doesn't record what the scene looks like from this other position. It only knows what it looks like from one position. So I can't move my head and see the change in the scene from, it, from a different perspective. So what can we do about that? Well, this footage um, is stereo, which means I've got different views on my left and right eye for a sense of depth. And with that depth comes a uh, depth map. And here we can see that depth map, where every pixel encodes uh, how far away an object in the scene is. So the concrete barrier in front of me is very close, so it's bright white. Um, the walkway kind of recedes in the distance a little bit. It's kind of gray. And then uh, in the back, where everything is kind of infinitely far away, it's black. And this is enough information that we can use it to um, approximate what the scene should look like from different points of view. So we're going to go back to the footage here. Now you see I'm going to move back and forth, and we still don't see any change in the scene until I turn on Project Sidewinder. And now, as I move back and forth, it comes alive. Now I can, you know, I can move back around here, and I can see different perspectives. Uh, I can come around and see the side of this wall you know, like I wanted to before. Um, maybe I can go up and down a little bit. I can, I can see the grass a little more. I can, I can kneel down and see what it looks like right in front of me here. Yeah. And this, you know, I'm, I'm moving around a lot up here to try and show you really clearly on screen what this feels like. But inside the headset, it's, it's super dramatic. And you, know, you don't really need to move that much. You kind of move our heads a little bit as we look around. And just that little bit of motion is something that we're really carefully attuned to because it's part of how we perceive the real world. It's how we know that 3D objects are real and in front of us. And so even with just a little bit of motion uh, you know, in the headset, it's, it makes it feel like there's really a piece of concrete in front of me that I can look at and I can interact with and I can, you know, I can feel immersed in this scene in a way I wasn't able to before. Let's take a look at some other footage. Uh, this is the Adobe San Francisco office lobby, and um, it's Christmas time. So here we've got a delightful little uh, you know, Christmas tree and a fireside um, you know, vignette. And um, same problem, though. I mean, it's a stereo video, but as I move back and forth, um, it still feels kind of flat until you know, I turn on uh, our rendering technique. And now, yeah, oh, we can see that it's really a Christmas tree, and it's really got a 3D shape. And I can see there's ornaments in front, and there's, there's Christmas lights in back, and you know, it's, it's got like a structure. And if I, if I turn it off, um, you know, it's like it just goes flat. It's like, oh, where did my 3D go? Uh, it feels like it's just projected onto a single sheet again. And until I turn it back on, and, and now you can really wow. see a 3D scene that I'm really a part of. So hopefully this is just a little glimpse of uh, what the future of virtual reality video is going to look like. Can I try it? What's up? Can I try it? Yeah, uh, you want to try? Yeah, you can try it. If you can have, I yeah, try it? Yeah, come that. on. All right. Do it real fast. I'm just going to try it out. real quick. Saddle up. Thank you. You look like uh, if Guilfoyle was nicer. <laughs> 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 oh, here. So you're in regular mode now? And just go ahead and move around a little bit, and you can see it's kind of flat? Yep. And then I'm going to turn it on for you. And now move, move back and forth a little bit. Like, oh, there you go. side to side. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, is this 
thrilling to watch, guys. <laughs> wow, this is really, really impressive. So wh wh where is this? San Francisco. Oh, I like how confused that guy looks. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> and then when that guy goes around the corner, he looks back. Watch. When he goes around, he'll come around. Watch. Wait, wait, wait. There. He's like, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. Pretty awesome, though. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Steve. It looks amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you.